the Tesla Cybertruck versus the Hummer EV. Both are very unique electric trucks to say the least and both are not very available right now. The Cybertruck deliveries have just started in December of 2023 and even though the Hummer EV has been on the road and in production for a couple of years now, GM has not been making too many of them. A couple of hundred a month on average, so these are very rare vehicles right now. Hopefully there will be plenty of them in the future because I think that both of them are awesome in their own ways. All right, let's compare them side by side. And I usually like to start with the price. Now the Cybertruck starts at around $60,000 where the Hummer EV starts at around 100,000. Now, that's, that's a pretty hefty difference at around $40,000. Now, on top of that, the Cybertruck is qualified for the $7,500 tax credit in the United States, though as a buyer, you still have to qualify as well, but the Hummer EV is not qualified at all because of its high price, so you get nothing. Now, let's talk about the most important spec when it comes to all electric vehicles, which is the range. Now, before I throw all the numbers at you, let me tell you about a bit of a caveat here, because uh, for some odd reason, and I think this is insane, the Tesla Cybertruck does not have the EPA rating. So the mileage that I'm gonna be sharing with you is just whatever Tesla estimates, where the Hummer EV numbers are rated EPA range. Okay, so let's start with the shortest range, which for the Cybertruck is 250 miles, where for the Hummer EV is almost 300 miles. The longest range is much more impressive. Uh, for the Cybertruck, it is 340 miles to the Hummer EVs, 314. Now, there is another caveat here when it comes to the Cybertruck, because four years ago, when the Cybertruck was unveiled, Elon Musk promised the range of over 500 miles. As you can see, uh, the best they could do was 340. So in order to fix that little problem, uh, they've implemented an option of a range extender. So the range extender is essentially another piece of a battery that will be permanently installed into the bed of the Cybertruck, thus taking one third of that bed. Now, we don't know what the pricing is going to be, though it's probably going to be around $10,000, but it is supposed to extend the range to 470 miles. Now, let's talk about zero to 60, which normally is not a thing when it comes to the pickup trucks, but in this case, it's gonna be exciting. But before that, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Energy Pal. Are you thinking about going solar, but not sure what panels to get, whether or not to get a home battery, or how much all of this is going to cost? Well, Energy Pal will do all of that for you, and you will get a $500 gift card when your installation is complete, if you use the link in the description of this video. Now, they even have this EV calculator that will tell you exactly what system to get so it can handle charging your EV all year around. That link is down there as well. All right, now let's talk about zero to 60 for these two pickup trucks. And it is exciting because the Hummer EV does zero to 60 in just three seconds, which is insane, but not as insane as the Cybertruck's 2.6 seconds. Now, let's talk about the driver assist features, which is important nowadays. Now, the Hummer EV offers the Super Cruise from GM, which um, honestly is not very good. It just isn't. I'm not a fan at all. While the Cybertruck, because it is a Tesla and every Tesla offers the autopilot, which I believe is by far, hands down, the best driver assist feature on the market right now. Now, don't confuse this with the full self-driving package, which I do believe is one of the biggest scams in the recent automotive history. That's not what I'm talking about. But the autopilot... The autopilot is awesome. All right, before we talk about charging, which is important, let's talk about the infotainment because Tesla really does have pretty much the best infotainment system out there. There, there is a, a streaming app store there where you can play different kinds of games. There is Netflix, there is YouTube, there are two screens. It's pretty good. However, the Hummer EV is probably the only other vehicle that I know of that can actually give Tesla the run for their money because the infotainment system, the graphics for it, for the Hummer EV, was designed by one of the top game companies out there. So 
it looks pretty amazing. Now the Cybertruck, pretty much like all Teslas, is missing a very important feature, which is the implementation of the Android Auto and the Apple CarPlay. To me, honestly, it is a deal breaker. I have no idea why they don't have it, but they don't have it. On the other hand, the Hummer EV actually has a very interesting feature that you can buy where they will install the cameras underneath the truck so you can actually see what's going on literally underneath you. Now let's talk about the DC fast charging and it is impressive for both. Now the Cybertruck can charge at the max rate of 250 kilowatts adding about 136 miles in 15 minutes. That's Tesla's estimate where the Hummer EV has a max charging rate of 350 kilowatts adding 100 miles in 10 minutes. That's pretty impressive. Now, as always, when we talk about fast charging, we have to mention that a lot of Tesla owners believe, and I actually agree with them, that the Tesla supercharging network is the best feature of any Tesla. There are over 50,000 stalls out there in the world with over 5,000 locations, and it is an extremely smooth experience pretty much for any Tesla owner. However, the caveat is that for some reason, in 2024, Tesla will be opening up their supercharging network to the rest of the EV drivers, which is great for the rest of the EV drivers, but not so great for the current and future Tesla drivers. So something to keep in mind. Now let's pretend that people might actually use either one of these two as pickup trucks and talk about the towing capacity. The max towing capacity for the Cybertruck is 11,000 pounds, to the Hummer EV's 8,500 pounds. Now, of course, I have to mention that the Cybertruck is made out of an exoskeleton that's made out of the stainless steel. Now, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Now, of course, it's a good thing because it's very sturdy. It's ding proof. As a matter of fact, it is also bulletproof. You can literally shoot a nine millimeter in it and apparently it's gonna be just fine. Uh, now, on the other hand, you know, it's gonna be very much impossible to find an independent body shop. So these will have to be Tesla body shops that they will still have to build up where you would be able to repair uh, the Cybertruck. And of course, that will probably drive the repair costs and therefore the insurance costs up. And because it is stainless steel, the Cybertruck will only come in one color, the color of your refrigerator. Now, Tesla will wrap your Cybertrucks for like thousands and thousands of dollars in black or white but at the end of the day you just get absolutely no color options now another unique feature that both of these trucks have is the ability to turn their back wheels the Cybertruck has it and the Hummer EV has it the Hummer EV actually calls it the crab walk where the truck can actually go sideways just a little bit like a crab. And of course, we gotta talk about the bi-directional charging feature. The Cybertruck will have it right away, where the Hummer EV will have it implemented in 2024. Essentially, this is a feature where the battery of the truck will serve as your home battery, where you can power your home during a blackout, or you can power up your campsite or your work site when your truck is out and about. Both pretty unique and entertaining trucks, if you ask me. And if you want to know specifically about the pros and cons of the Tesla Cybertruck, well, I've already made a video specifically for you, which you can find right here. All right, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.